All right, so this is a new TikTok trend. This is the trend in which moms are cracking an egg with their kid's head. Some are calling it abuse, while others are saying it's harmless fun. Where do you stand on it? Yeah, no. Ow! <laughs> that hurts! Oh, they don't even tell the kid. Crank it. I'm just gonna give him a concussion. Oh, she got the get back. <laughs> there you go. The daughter got the get back. <laughs> that hurts. Are you okay? No. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Two. So you gotta do it again. Oh. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's funny when they're older. Here. Hi. <laughs> I don't think I see it. I don't think I see anything wrong with it's this. It's a pretty funny challenge. <laughs> I think it's it looks pretty harmless to me. I do think it's funny. It's just an egg. Unless you did that every day and then made it some sort of like psychological torment thing on them and you always hit them and mm. then I can see how it could be damaging but it seems like it's a one and done it's all different people yeah. it's funny because you know they don't expect it they're excited <laughs> to make cookies with their mom and then it's like you get bonked in the head with an egg it's pretty funny I could see how it's like that's not right but it's like but when you got to do it multiple times because it doesn't crack now what if the kids has down syndrome like that last girl oh shit <laughs> Cause I feel like they just have that like strength that like, you know what I mean? Like there's a term for that. egg won't hurt. Nah, there's a term for that. I'm not gonna say it, but there's a term where special needs people have ridiculous strength. So they might need more crypto to handle an egg to the head. And then you're using your kid for a prop, for a TikTok prop, or whatever, like lighten up, whatever. You know those confetti eggs like on Easter where they would crack it over your head? I would say some of those hurt pretty bad. Like I've gotten shells stuck in my head before. Mm. You never got that? No. Nah. You never? No, that was there just. You <laughs> Damn. At least this wasn't like face into the cake. I've seen those and I think that's a little fucked up. Like it's somebody's birthday and now you're like embarrassing them on top of making their face dirty. But mm. this was just a little egg in a cup. I wanted to share with you guys a very motivational speech that I found recently. You know, we, we react to a lot of negative things. I wanted something to kind of uplift us. I don't have any words prepared today. I just want you to feel our pain. I don't know if you can at this point based off your policy choices, but I have to pretend you have some form of empathy left. So I am going to spend the next minute screaming because that is what is going on in here. That is what the trans genocide in this country, in this city has brought me to. Does that seem like a mentally stable individual? And they're the cowards? Cowards! She legit screamed. Yeah. Mike and mouth. I guess she thought that's the only way we was, she would get our attention to listen. But I don't know if throwing a tantrum is the way to... I think everyone after that was like, do you yeah. think they got the point of what she was trying to do after? Yeah, you're never allowed back here again, ma'am. I could talk about this for 80 minutes, but when you're not able to make a coherent sound and bulletproof argument with facts, statistics, whatever, you resort to doing things like this. You try about it. It's just childish. Yeah. That's just childish. If you do something wrong or your position, you should be able to back up your position with hardcore facts or like at least have a good debate strategy or something. When you have no argument and when your argument's based in hoopla, feelings, random fairy tale bullshit, you just start screaming. <laughs> And if you're gonna make a statement, like make it good. Like that didn't even make sense. What are you screaming for? I'm just gonna scream because that's how I feel. You're telling me this didn't change your mind on her issues? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Put your mask back Yo, on. What are you thinking? Why was your mask on and then you took it off? No, nah, but real shit, does that person look sane? You don't even matter political beliefs, anything. No. Does that person look mentally stable or sane or anything? <laughs> no. So I'm gonna go ahead and not listen to what you're saying because you don't seem like you're in the right headspace. Like if I'm upset about something- They're like backing her up in the back too. Yeah, get them. And I'm like, dude. Like if I'm upset about something, I'm gonna try to like go to the board of people and try to detail it. Nope. <laughs> Like have a well put together comeback or well put together speech. Exactly, because I'm trying to actually change minds. I'm trying to actually get my point across. When you are when you don't really have a point, you just do this. <laughs> I'm gonna not listen to the mentally ill people like- Yeah, I don't wanna listen to you. It's like, okay, you're talking about policy changes or whatever the fuck you want. How about we don't listen to the people that are mentally ill? We don't listen to the people who don't have- What do you think she changed anything? They should like screen them before they <laughs> could like ask any well, questions. What were you gonna be asking today? Can I see your thing would you yeah. prepared? I think, yeah, it's the quickest way to see if someone's low IQ is like when there's a debate and it's like, all right, well then let's have a discussion. The people that, they never wanna have a discussion. They never wanna actually bring up points, whatever. They don't have points and they, they just feel like it's wrong. Mm -hmm. They feel like and they know they don't they don't agree with it. Yeah, you but why don't you agree with it? Well I can't articulate that, so I need to start screaming. But that's just cognitive dissonance and brainwashing for you. The fact that she needed a sheet of paper to memorize her screaming is crazy. <laughs> Compelling argument. Where do they find these intellectuals? They really need help. Oh my god. This wants to be taken seriously. There's no way that's real. Yeah, it doesn't seem real. Like she she drove there, got ready, and just, just scream like that. At a council meeting or what she okay. cooked that up. Like she knew she was just gonna scream. Like that was her thing, her statement. Ma'am, go home. Put your mask on in your car and drive on home. Imagine what, ma'am? Imagine that you're up here doing this shit. Yeah, Man. imagine that. Like she's doing something. You're mental. Like she's changing minds. You need a street <laughs> check. <laughs> imagine that. Everyone's just looking around. Yeah, you gotta leave, ma'am. Start pushing her out. You, Jenkins! It gets laughable. Hold DA Jenkins accountable. Hold him f***ing A, man. Fuck. Cowards. He needs to suffer solitary. Well, I don't know what she's arguing, though, too. No, we don't know. Hey, I don't know. We don't know. What is your point? Nobody know. Holy shit. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. See you later. Bye.